In this episode of Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, I move some stuff. I walk around my boat. I get a mysterious package. What can that be? I rip my sail again. Yeah, that's it. I'm given a stuffed crazy kiwi. And I drink beer. Cheers. Again. Just behind me down here in the water, there's a rigging company doing some work on a boat. Uh, I managed to get hold of the, uh, the guy uh, who's going to give me a quote for my rigging. Um, I need to change out some of this rigging, so uh, he's going to get back to me with that. But uh, on this particular boat they're working on, they're, they're taking the mast down. I wanted to have it done with my mast standing up. Uh, but they're going to take the mast down on this boat, so if you ever wondered how you take a mast down on a boat, this is how. Today's administration day on the boat, that's uh, another part of uh, running a boat, uh, is sorting out the paperwork. I've got loads of lists of things to do. Linda and Lewis send me this. A beer cozy, a bottle opener for my morning coffee, special uh, Maori thing for travellers. And then there's this guy. Even got beer mats. Lewis and Linda from Auckland, thank you so much for your care package. That was brilliant. More on a delivery that I had in the last episode. I called it a beer cooler, but in fact, it is a fridge. Here's the story behind that. Big problems with the fridge. It's not a freezer, it never has been. Uh, the fridge is in there and it's not working properly. In fact, it's hardly working at all. Uh, the compressor and all the doobie, doobie doobies that make it work are under there. Now the fridge is so old, it's uh, the same age as the boat. I think getting it repaired is not going to be economically viable. So, uh, on the seat by the uh, navigation table at the moment. But that's going to change things on the boat. Although it's called a fridge, it actually can go much lower than the 2C marked up here. It'll go below freezing, so it can act as a freezer. But for the most part, a fridge keeps the beer cold. Always wanted one of these. I've always wanted one, and here it is. It's a big beast, 45 litres. You can get a lot of beer uh, food in there. All that remained now was for me to test it. This little beauty had been in there for an hour, so... So, uh, yes, cold. Cold beers now. <clears throat> I needed that. When you've got wet vegetables on your boat, and particularly when your sunglasses are wet, then you know it's not good weather. A bit dismal out there today. Nobody seems to be doing anything, including me. A look along the river will confirm that it is not a nice day. There's no boat work today. I've given up that idea. This was forecast, so no biggie. It's a complete mess out there, but uh, I'm just staying in here. Getting a bit of water coming in through the hatch, so uh, better close that up. Just leave a little space at the top there for ventilation. That should stop it coming in. Well, I was going to fry me up some bacon this morning, but uh, frying in the boat when it's closed up is not nice. So, uh, work. I better, I better do something. Uh, so editing today, uh, editing today. The great thing about living in a boatyard is you never know what's going to happen next. What? What you got there, Mo? Hey, Silver Fox, come here. I'll, I'll tell you something, right? What's that, mate? On a boatyard, right? There's three things you don't drop. Number one, the boss's boat. Yeah. Number two, your own boat, and number three, the portaloo. The toilet. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm going to do, because I've got a new sail sorted out for the boat, is the old sail is under the boat here and it's completely ripped. And we're going to take um, the runner, the slides off, these little doojimi, 
flippy things and use them on the new sail. I was actually showing some people around the boat the other day and I showed them the old sail down here and it just ripped when I pulled it out to show them. Uh, that material is completely and utterly gone. You just touch it and it pulls. Yep, that's it. Never waste anything, hence a bread knife. The old reefing points, too nice to waste. Recycle. It's a real shame, but I mean, this sail is completely and utterly gone. I mean, you touch it and it rips through. Sailed me halfway around the world. Thanks, sweetheart. Thank you for your service. Just walking around the boat today to see what uh, needs to be done. And there's an awful lot that still needs to be done. And I'm trying to get back in the water as soon as I can. Uh, the top parts of the, uh, the boat are down here, if you see what I mean. That's the lazarette cover and the anchor hat shirt cover. They've got stuff to still do on them. Most of the underneath is done. I've sanded it and got it ready uh, for anti-foul which is the paint that you put on to stop uh, growth on the bottom of the boat. Uh, just about to get to that and I found a little problem up here. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a hairline crack in the cladding, the epoxy coating that is on the uh, hull of the boat. And it's just tiny, but um, these days now with the right materials, I'm gonna fix that before it gets any worse. Back in the Pacific days, I couldn't get things like this. Epoxy filler, this is two pack, uh, the filler and a hardener. And this stuff is just what I need to fix problems like that on the boat. I've just really got a bit of filler, mixed it together on a piece of cardboard. And I'm gonna finger that in, just with what I've got on my glove. Here's a quick tip. I just found this in the dumpster. Somebody's thrown it away because it's got some corrosion on there. But here's how to fix it. If you get one of these things, a whirly thing with a sanding disc on one side for your battery drill or something similar, you just do this. And in real time, you're gonna see something amazing. Look at that, huh? Not bad after five minutes work. Yeah, that'll be useful. Time for some anti-foul getting past the preparation part of the whole thing and starting to do the nice bits. Although to do it properly is very laborious. This is a job I used to do on the Plymouth Lifeboat. That was kind of my uh, job over the years to put the, the tape on uh, ready for the painting. Um, it takes a bit of patience, but when you get it right, it looks good at the end. Uh, and also a quick tip, even though the tape says it can uh, stay there for a while, you want to take it off as soon as you can. I've seen a guy recently left it on for a few days and couldn't get it off again. Because this part of the stern is always getting in the water, it's always getting fouled up. So I've decided to bring the anti-foul further up uh, because this just gets stained and it's a, it's a real pain in the bum. The anti-foul is an ablative type. That means that it comes off. It's designed to wear off. That way, anything trying to grow on the boat's hull uh, doesn't get a foothold, uh, if you can imagine it that way. This is good for the colder waters of New Zealand. Normally I would use a hard anti-foul in the warmer waters uh, of the Caribbean and the tropics because it's easy to jump over the side and give it a clean every so often. That's what I had on before because normally you'd have to do this every six months. But for Shaddy this time, it had been two years since her last anti-foul. Just putting things away after a long day. I'm hot and sweaty. It did rain for a bit, but I managed to get it all done. I, I was gonna just do the boot line at the top there. Three layers are going in a ring around the boat and I'm gonna remove the uh, tape now. But uh, it went so well and quicker than I thought, so I, I just did the entire boat. Um, the rest of the boat will need another coat on, but at least it's all covered. 
uh, except for the bottom of the keel. Got a little uh, extra work to do on that before I cover that uh, up with anti-foul. But yeah, all in all a good day. Right, now if I can get my hand on it. Uh, it's the tech, oh look at that. Look at that ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah baby. <clears throat> oh yes. This is when it's it, when it starts to get pretty. That's when the project starts to make sense and you start to feel good about the whole thing. There's a few little bits where I've messed up, but unless you're looking, you're never going to see them. Look at that. Interesting to see what I've done here. The old uh, line was down from there and along over there. And all this section here used to get foul. So now I've brought this, the line up a bit. Uh, there's a little kink in it there, but I think by and large it works. I'm just taking our last bit off now. We can see what she's going to look like. Yeah. I think that works. Time for my reward. Cheers. Oh, that's good. more work but this is a little bit different uh, taking a trip to caliber sails this is a sail loft it's a huge area because obviously they make sails and they got to have room to lay them out on the floor and i was here to pick my mainsail up there's a very very short man working here <laughs> right there we go It's not that heavy, but I've got to walk a long way with this. Sling it on my shoulder. <laughs> the thing with fungi and New Zealand in general, this part of New Zealand anyway, is they don't really have taxis. There's not really much in the way of public transport. There are buses, but you can't just hop on one. <laughs> so, hence carrying this bloody thing. <laughs> Good. The, you know, you don't see taxis coming down the road and you can stop it. Now there's a sight you don't see that often. A man walking around with a sail and he's shopping trolley. My idea was that if I had to pay for a taxi back home, I'd at least fill it up with beer. Love the packaging on this. Never tried any, but how cool is that? I was still getting used to the idea that I could buy anything I want. I was back in a country where everything was available and they had supermarkets. Luxury. Something's arrived for me that's very heavy. When I got back, I was told to go to the Chandlery, all marine, and pick up a box that was waiting for me there. This young Dave. <laughs> right, so what we got here is a controller. But a controller for what? Well, it's a controller for... You can't see it. It's a secret thing. <laughs> it was surprisingly heavy, so I was happy just to get it in the barrow and back to the boat. It's nice to get new things when you do lots of work on the boat. To actually buy something new and put it on the boat, make it all shiny and nice again. That's what we're doing. And this is a red letter day. This is special. This is designed to be on the outside of the boat, but I don't want to get it wet yet. But the trouble is getting that on the boat. Weather's coming in as well. It's going to throw it down with rain real soon. Well, all ready for the lift. Ah, look who's just turned up. <laughs> See how strong I feel. People love it when I film this. Especially if I drop it, it'll be really good. <laughs> you would actually admit that online that you dropped it? I'll, I'll let it that bit out. Are you there? Yeah. Good job. It's 2,000 bucks in here. Oh, yeah. 
Yippee! Yeah, baby! I saw happening, I got the the, the uh, guys making my, my new Dodger. I got the new sail on board today. And now this box. That was a secret. So, open up the box. What have we got? Well, there's a winch handle. That gives you a clue. There's some electronic stuff. Uh, that one says it's a switch that makes things go up and down. That's just a circuit breaker. <laughs> and then we have the business. That, my friends, is a windlass, or what is also known as an anchor winch. It's a big beast, and that takes over from the old one, uh, which has nearly killed me on several occasions. Uh, I've no idea what all this other stuff is, mounting bolts, but that basically is it. That is an electric windlass. No more pulling up anchors by hand. That's it. Weighs a ton, but it's got to pull up an awful lot of chain and a big anchor which I've had delivered to somewhere else because I've no room for it on the boat at the moment. But there's a lot of work to go with this. Had alterations too, and now got on board the new mainsail, and right next to it, the new anchor winch, looking very, very shiny. It'll be interesting to see how long that stays that shiny. Not long knowing me. I just put it in place to see what it looks like. I'm just standing back here. <laughs> it looks amazing. Yes, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. 